bright, perfectly exposed interior shots and you can see what's outside the window. This is a quick tutorial on bringing the outside in with layer masks. All right, so we're here in Photoshop. I have two of Julia's photos, both perfectly taken on a tripod. We have one underexposed kitchen photo where we can see what's outside the windows. And we have our brighter one where we can see the interiors, but of course our window is blown out to white. So our goal is to have this nicely exposed photo and be able to bring the outside in and see also the trees coming through the window. And we're gonna do that with a very simple tool called a mask. Um, very quickly here in Photoshop, all I have open is two panels. I have my tools here on the left, and all I have is my layers panel here on the right, and that's all you need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring out this bright photo, and we're gonna put it on top of the dark one. So grab your selection tool, this little mouse, and you literally can just drag it on, pull it out, drag it on the darker photo. And now you'll see in your layers panel, the bright photo on top of the darker one. These little eyes over here will let you toggle um, to see or hide a layer. So if I click on this eye, I can see there is my darker photo underneath. And now I can see all the exterior trees that I want to bring in, right, to this kitchen photo. So, in order to do that, all we have to do is add a layer mask right on top to this bright kitchen photo. So it is the button right down here, uh, which is like a white rectangle with a circle inside. Actually, when I always taught this to my students, they called this the Japan button because it looks like the flag, so it's not a bad way to remember it. Click on Add Layer Mask, and automatically Photoshop is going to have it selected. It's just this white rectangle here. What masking does is it let us only reveal parts of the photo that's underneath. So in this case, we want to allow come through this part of the photo because it lets us see what's outside the window. And all you have to remember with masks is black and white. Literally, masks only think in black and white. In fact, once you have your layer mask selected, your color palette over here turns to black and white. So let's grab our paintbrush and I'm going to show you how masks work. Grab your paintbrush, you can change your size if you want. Up here for my brush options, I'm just at 100% opacity, 100% flow. We're not going to adjust that right now. All I want you to do is paint anywhere, <laughs> but I'm painting here in the window. And you can see it's revealing the photo underneath, only where I'm painting in black. Okay, so black hides the photo or the layer that I'm working on. And by doing that, it's showing what's underneath. So let's switch this and paint in white. And you can see if I do that, it brings back the photo, right? So it is now showing uh, where I started. So black and white. So if I want to hide part of my photo and show what's underneath, I'm going to paint in black. So let's do that. Now, here's where masking gets interesting because you don't have to paint in 100% opacity. So, um, I definitely don't want to use like a hard brush. It's not very forgiving. And um, let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to get these corners right and everything. So, go back to white. Bring back our bright window here. If I was masking this, first of all, I like to choose a soft brush, and I'm going to turn down my opacity. So now it's almost like we're painting in gray. I'm going to switch this back to black. Um, let's try 50% opacity. 
Well, let's just see what that does for us. Because maybe I want the, the outdoors to come through, but I don't want it to be too stark or dark, and I still want my photo to feel bright and airy. So here I'm just painting, and I can do a couple layers if I want, and then really play with how much of those trees do I want them to come through, right? So I'm liking how that's looking so far and again it's very forgiving that's what I love about masks you can just keep toggling back and forth so like the middle of this window pane got really dark now so I'm switching back to white and I'm just gonna bring back the whiteness of this make sure it stays looking clean and bright like my original photo and you can see in your mask over here that it's showing exactly what part of the photo uh, is being revealed, what's underneath. Do a little zoom out. All right, I like how it looks. So you can get all different kind of results with the opacity that you use. Um, and again, black. Painting in black is going to reveal the dark photo underneath. So I hope you found this um, interesting, easy, and go give it a try.